Okay, so I'm going to teach everyone how to make a cube and then put a face on it so you can draw a 3 uh, 3D model over it. So this is the 3D cube, but let me try making you first and then show you how to do it. Go to create primitive cube. Select that. Press this. And then you can select all. Make sure this handle is checked to get this red, green, and blue arrows axis or whatever you want to call it for it. And then go up a little bit so it's not on the ground. And then right now you can, whenever you want, you can add your photos in here. Drag it into here. Oh, right, you have to go texture first. Then drag into here. This is to move. This is to zoom in and out. And this is to rotate. And then for view, if you want to go back, you just press F3 or front. So what we're going to do is delete the faces that we don't need. We can go to erase and click the stuff we don't need. Oh, also you can use the right arrow on your mouse to rotate as well. I like doing that because it's easier. So I'm just going to get rid of these. So now you have these, but you got to separate the vertices right here. You need to select these, or I think I you select all. Selection. Separate vertex. It's much easier if you follow by visually, because that's how I learn. But you know. I have to figure out how to separate these because I don't know why it just doesn't go apart. It's difficult. I'm pretty sure I already separated it, but I think the vertices are. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, see? They're already separated. But I just gotta select the ones that I need to uh, move it. try it again. No. It's selecting the vertices from here. That's, I forgot how. I haven't used Zizmo in a long time, so I'm trying to figure this out. If it takes too long, I'm going to cut it out. There we go. I got it. I forgot. You have to click in there. Okay, so make sure they're lined up correctly. Adjust it however you want, and then name whatever you want to name the files, okay. And now we go to Shader Widget, Create, and Shader Node. And we got to scroll down, Shading Type, Flat, Diffuse, White. And then texture, I think that's how it worked again, I forgot. Yeah, you go texture, then whatever you want to put for the shader. And then you go there and I think it applies. No, I think I did something wrong, hold on. No, everything is right. Mm -hmm. So what I can do is select this and see if assigned shader works. There we go. That's easier for me. And then 
you can adjust this to however you want again. You set the vertices and adjust it. And there you go. Make sure you select though, like when you want to apply. Don't leave it like this. Select it when you're applying the shader because if you don't, it's going to show up both on here and here. You want to have a front face and a side face, a side view when you're doing the model. Okay, so that's how you do it. Now for other options, if you want to make a model now, let's start with the basics. So square select is of course selecting. The handle, you can make it disappear and appear. And you can show a rotate circle if you need it to rotate, see? CTRL-Z is, of course, to undo. And then you can remove whatever you don't need, like this. And this is also move. But you don't rotate and stop. This is like the minimum. This is scaling. Make it bigger and smaller, stretch it out and stuff. This is rotate. This is, again, moving. If I think it was, I'm pretty sure it was. Oh, you don't really need it if you're not u using, unless, yeah, you don't need this if you're using this here, I don't think. These are all basically the same thing, it's just one does one thing and one does the other. So, I don't know what this does. I guess it selects the vertice. Or the item? I don't know. But I haven't used that. I use mainly the moving and this and this and stuff like that. Okay, so line polygon, tri polygon, edge polygon, quad polygon, and sign shader again. Uh, let me figure this out real quick. So I think it was this to make vertices, but I don't use this because it's not showing the face. So I think I used tri-polygon, I think. I don't remember. Yeah, it was this one. This one I did for my model. And you can do it like this. And then click the next vertice. Go like that. Make sure it clicks to the next vertice. Like that. But don't do it like that because if you do it reverse way, it's going to show the back of it. What I mean by that is like this. See, it's black. That's the back. So when you're using it, make sure you do it the same way. I already did my model though, so I'm not gonna really do this. But I'm gonna try to make a heart to demonstrate in a second. Okay, so this is erase. So you, like I showed you before when I was doing the cube, just erase, click a vertice you wanna erase and then erase it. I haven't used UV yet because I, ha I haven't finished my model yet. Cutter was, I think, splitting the vertices and then adding more. This is like, I think for red topology. I don't, I'm not familiar with that yet, but I'm learning. So maybe someday I could show a tutorial for beginners and stuff. And then you do it like that. And then you split it. This one patching is, um, uh, let me, let me, let me show you. So if I 
did this, for example, if there was a line you didn't need right there or right here or whatever, you can use single patch, serial patch to remove those, whatever is not supposed to connect, see, the unnecessary stuff. And then you just adjust like that. And if you want to add ver vertexes, add vertex, and then wherever you need to put them, put them right there, put them right there, wherever you need them. And that's pretty much it. For extruding, you're basically ex expanding it. Let me show you. Right, let me. Like this. See, it makes it fatter. See that? bevel I don't remember what that did but I don't really use it this program is pretty basic it uses most of the basic tools you need it also is the new beta has um the azizmo 2 has some add-ons you could put I don't know if this has it but the creator put some add-ons where you can add stuff to it yeah, I don't think they put it in here. I think it's just for the new beta. And then magnet is... Uh, let me see if I could get it to work. Yeah, like this. It's basically drawing it out. Like extending it out wherever you want. And then we have the weight tool. Of course, for rigging, I guess bones to add bones bone weight and then you can also do animations in here what's great about this program is it's for mmd and you can export to pmx but the problem is you cannot import to pmx so when you're importing only pmx i think the, the new beta also has the x file too i don't remember let me see oh right here you can ex export it to X, but you can't import to X either. This is good for MMD modelers if they want to learn a new program. They don't want to have too many hefty add-ons to the program. This is good for you. And then, what else do I need? Oh, you can rename the shaders if you want. And it changes right there. You can lock right here. Lock the file. Though I'm not sure if I can do it here though for some reason. I can't do that. Let me try importing. Or opening my file. Just to show you how I did mine. Still not finished yet though, by the way. I think it was this one. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But yeah, this is what I did with my model. I made hair shaders, eyebrows, eyes. I'll be doing the texturing later. I have to figure that out later too. So, Oh, also, if you're using symmetry, I wouldn't recommend it. Instead, I would copy and paste the side and paste it to the other side. Because with symmetry, I tried doing that in the beginning and it was creating unused, useless vertexes in the middle. And it was interfering with the, the thing. I, like, I don't know if it's with the latest, this is one, 199 or 99B or something like that. And the, the earliest one I was using, it was doing that. I don't know if it does that now though. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend this. Just copy and paste to the side. And also, right here, I want to show you like what this does. Subdivision, when you're making a subdivision, 
if you don't use it, this is what happens. It makes it pointy if you're using less vertex, uh, vertexes. See, this is how I did mine. But if you remove the subdivision, it gets pointy and that's how it turns out. I'm still learning, so I'm not sure if I did that right or not. This is my first model uh, from scratch, model from scratch. And then I use the hair, obviously, the hair node. There's already a tutorial in another video from someone else who talked about the hair node. It's, it's pretty useful, but it's too flat. It's only one way, and like you'll see what I mean when you use it. It's, it's just when you try to adjust it, it doesn't go straight, it bends and stuff. I don't like it, but it's useful if you want it the process to go faster. I think that's it. I think I covered everything that I know of. I'm still not on the UV, the weight, or bone rigging and stuff. I usually use the did rigging and stuff in MMD's PMD editor, so PMD PNX editor. So, yeah, I didn't have use for doing it in here. I probably, when I export it, will use it in MMD, PMD, PMX, or whatever. I haven't tried morph mode yet, so I'll have to figure that later. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Uh, I tried to cover everything that I could, and I hope it helped. So if you want more videos on rare stuff, I guess, or Death the Kid stuff, I draw a lot of Death the Kid, you can subscribe if you want. No forcing intended. Goodbye.